Hi friends! Welcome to Kids Talk! Today is February 14. Happy Valentine's Day! I invited my friend Mindy to come today. She's a mail carrier. carrier. <laughs> she carries the mail. Yeah. She delivers letters and packages for the post office. Oh, here she comes now. Hey, Mindy. Hi, Miss Kim. Well, thank you for coming today. I am glad I could make it. Valentine's is a very busy holiday for you, isn't it, and all the postal workers. Yes, many people send cards and packages of love. Do you know the story behind Valentine's Day? Yes, I do. A long time ago, there was a ruler in a country called Rome. They called him Claudius the Cruel because he was so mean. Oh, no. Yep, he had a hard time getting men to join his army because the men did not want to leave their family, the people they loved the most, and go off to war. So Claudius made a really bad rule. He said no one is allowed to get married in Rome. Yikes! Yes, well, then there was a priest. He was like a pastor who was also a doctor. His name was Valentine. And Valentine knew this was unfair and wrong. So he would perform marriages in secret. What happened when Claudius found out? He had Valentine put in jail. Claudius said Valentine must die on February 14th. Some say that Valentine wrote a note to the jailer's daughter who had become his friend. And he signed it from your Valentine. For Valentine's great service of love to God and others, the church called him Saint Valentine after he died. Oh, wow! So later on, as time went on, February 14 became known as Valentine's Day? Yes! People exchange love messages, poems, or give simple gifts like flowers. Well, thank you. And um, I'm so glad I could share that with you, that story. Well, thank you for coming and sharing that with us. Oh, you bet. St. Valentine was a good example for us of loving others. Yes, he was. Well, I better go finish delivering this mail now. Have a happy Valentine's Day, Miss Kim. Oh, thanks, Mindy. You too. Goodbye, everybody out there. Have a happy Valentine's Day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, Mindy. Oh, Mindy is so nice. That was special to learn about Valentine's Day. Hey, you know what? I have some artwork right over here. If I get my little finger over here, there, that little pointer. There's some artwork done by some artists. Here, this one, somebody drew a picture of what they thought St. Valentine maybe looked like. And here's another painting somebody drew of him. And this one is called a mosaic. See, there are little tiny pieces of paper or tile or glass. The people in Italy, that's a place far away, they um, like to make mosaics out of pictures where pictures with mosaics like that isn't that neat so that's what an artist made and you can make some really neat pictures too so i hope i get to see them someday i know you're a good artist well um i think it's time for our bible verse today let's see got your bibles ready our bible verse from god's book in the bible is found in the new testament Last week we went way to Genesis, the very first book. Now we're going way in the back in the New Testament to 1 John. There is a book of John that's up here a little bit. And then if you go a little further back in the Bible, you will find 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John. And that's where we're going to read from today. 1st John, oh, here, here it is. 1st John 4. Verse 7 and 8. 
Yes, that's what we're going to read. So put your listening ears on real quick here and get ready to hear what God has to say or follow along in your Bible. Oh, let's do our song first. Let's make our Bible book. Here we go. I open my Bible book and read, God loves me, God loves me. Good job. All right, this is what it says in 1 John 4, verse 7 and 8. All right, here it goes. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. Wow, that's really amazing. Well, the devotion I wrote for you today is called Hearts for God. Here we go. Tom and his sister Julie were cutting out their valentines for school. They checked off their list, the names, as they dropped a candy heart into each envelope. When they were finished, Julie smiled and said, Hey, we should make a valentine for God, too. To their surprise, Mother replied, That's a great idea, but... God doesn't need a paper heart. The best valentine we could give to God is to love him and others from inside our own hearts. Love is caring concern for the well-being of others. Love is action. God loves us so much that he sent his only son, Jesus, yeah, to die on the cross to take away all our sins. Now we can live someday with him in heaven. That was the greatest love or valentine ever given. When we know God, it makes us so thankful for his love that we want to show love to others too. That means doing much more than making paper valentines. When we love one another, we are showing that we know God because love comes from God. God is love. Say that either out loud or in your mind. Say that. God is love. Yeah. Never forget that. Yeah. All right. So, oh, here is a page from one of my favorite books, children's books, and it tells what love is. And so we're going to try and look at this, if we can see this really well. Can you see all these? I'm going to read them to you, okay? Let's see if I can get that for you. There we go. So love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not jealous. Love does not brag. Love is not selfish. Love is not rude. Love is not afraid. Love is happy with the truth. Love never gives up. Love does no wrong to anyone. Love overlooks faults. Love is faithful. Love does not demand its own way. Love lasts forever. Isn't that neat? Sure is. Now you know what love is. God is love. He gave us Jesus. Right? And you can sing. You can sing with me. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. 
That's so wonderful. Oh, I got to grab something over here. Put that right there. All right. So, my dear friends, I hope you have a very happy day loving others with a love like Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Oh, I love this. Here, this is fun. Here we go. I'm going to put this on. Here's my B. Be happy. Jesus loves you very much. <laughs> That's a fun play on words, isn't it? But I wish you a very happy Valentine's Day, remembering that Jesus loves you the most and he's always with you. Yes. So praise God with the music video that comes on next. Goodbye, my friends. Jesus loves you. Tell everybody. Bye-bye. I'm feeling good, good, good in a crazy way. God's love changed me more than I can say. Can't keep this in, gotta let it out. Gonna tell the whole world that your love is spinning me around and around. Yeah, it's turning me upside down. I can't believe the way you love me more than I can contain. I'm gonna turn around and give, give, give it away. I want the world to